Hey what's up guys, it's Andrew back again with another video and this is my updated 2016 desk setup. So now before I begin today's video, I just want to let you know that I am using a new mic today, so be sure to let me know about the quality down in the comments below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you might notice is my monitor. So this is the same AOC i2367FH monitor that I've been using for the past few months now and I absolutely love it. So I did a review of this monitor a few months back, however the main thing that's changed is the fact that it is now wall mounted. So the reason I decided to do this was mainly because because I was just running completely out of desk real estate, but also it's nice to have it at eye level, not to mention having a mounted monitor is just pretty cool to have. So now this would not be possible without a few things, and the first being a visa mount. Now I could have just completely butchered that spelling, but nonetheless, this thing is amazing. It allowed me to mount the monitor on the wall super quick and super easy, not to mention I can take the monitor off the wall for easy transport, or if I want to move it down to my desk sometime later, that's always an option. And the second piece of hardware, which is possibly the best piece of tech I've ever purchased, is a 270 degree HDMI cable. So for those who don't know, HDMI cables are extremely, extremely stiff, and they're not flexible at all. So having a monitor up against the wall with one of those cables is not ideal. So buying a cable that goes out then at a right angle is extremely helpful. And then paired with the wall mounted monitor, I have a pair of ancient analog speakers that I found in the basement of my 106 year old home. Now while I sure would have liked a pair of better speakers, maybe from Logitech, these actually aren't half bad. So they are wall mounted just like the monitor, however they are mounted in a triangular fashion. So. They're mounted at ear level, but they're also pointed directly towards my face, which is what I've heard is the best configuration for getting the best clarity and sound quality out of your speakers. Now, of course, the speakers are nothing without the amplifier. So the little beast that I've got rocking here is a stereo digital audio amplifier from Lapai. So while they may be small, you can't let that fool you. These things really pack a punch, providing great volume and great amplification to the speakers, as well as being able to control things like treble and bass right on the amplifier, which for $40, really not that bad. Now moving on down to peripherals, I have a Logitech K810 Bluetooth keyboard. So there's actually a pretty funny story behind this. I was mowing a lawn one day and someone across the street yelled over to me and said, hey, how much do you charge? And I said, $25. And he said, all right, come on over and mow my grass. So I go over and cut the grass and after he's done, he pays me $30 as well as a wireless mouse and the Logitech K810. So I was a little skeptical about this keyboard at first. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or even if it was going to function well as a keyboard on my desk, but after finding a proper charging cable for it, this thing rocks. So it's able to connect to up to three different devices just using three separate buttons on the keyboard, which is very, very nice. The keys have a nice, almost clicky, responsive feel to them, even though it is obviously a membrane keyboard, and it doesn't drop connection and the battery life lasts a long time. Not to mention this thing also has a backlighting, which is extremely helpful for typing at night and this thing is nice and light which makes it all around a fantastic wireless keyboard and then paired with that I have an extremely simple very basic Logitech wired mouse so the reason I went with a wired mouse instead of a wireless mouse is because the first time I connected a wireless mouse to my computer which I'll get to in a second it didn't work very well the, the, the connection just wasn't strong and, I, and it just kept dropping the connection which was really annoying and frustrating so I decided to drop the wireless mouse altogether and just opt for a wired mouse which provides a bit more cables than I would like but I probably will upgrade to a wireless mouse sometime in the future but for now wire it all the way so now touching real quick on the beast that makes this whole build work, my PC. So for those who have been with this channel for a few months or who have seen my computer build video, you would know that I built this system myself. So inside is an Intel Core i7-6700 processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a GTX 960 overclock graphics card, and one terabyte of Western Digital Caviar Blue storage. So while it of course has its bottlenecks, it still packs a serious punch. Video editing is seamless on this thing, and any game that I throw at it, it's able to max out at 60 FPS almost no problem. Except for ARC, which basically no computer can max out ARC at 60 FPS, so I don't feel too bad. And then last but not least, in terms of peripherals, I have an amazing new addition to the desk setup, which is a Kingston card reader. So it's a little ridiculous that I lived without a card reader for so, so long, even though I work with media pretty much every day. And you know, as, as a YouTuber, a recording with a DSLR, it's extremely, extremely important that you have a good SD card reader with fast transfer speeds in order to get these massive files off, right? And so you might be asking yourself, Andrew, how were you able to maintain your channel? I mean, how were you able to transfer the these files over. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that my old laptop actually had an SD card reader built in. So what I did is I put the SD card into the laptop, opened the laptop, 
transferred the files onto an external hard drive, plugged the external hard drive into my computer, and from there was able to get the files onto my new computer. It was a task, but I was driven enough to do it but with this new card reader, it saves me tons of time, and it's not to mention it's going to pay for itself. So this thing is awesome. It's able to read regular SD cards as well as micro SD cards for my Zoom H1, and some other things that take some micro SD cards like my GoPro, as well as compatibility with CF, which I may get into later if I get a higher end camera that actually takes CF cards. So this thing just plugs in via USB 3.0, and it's extremely, extremely useful, and I love it. I may do a review at some point if you guys want to see it, if you would like a card reader of your own, so leave a comment down below if you guys want to see that soon. And then last but not least, tying it all together is my desk. So this is actually kind of a unique story because my dad made this for me. I'm not exactly sure what the wood is made of, but it's really cool because the desk is actually screwed to the wall instead of set on the floor. So this means that you can actually fold the desk down flush with the wall. I can't show you that obviously because I've got some stuff on my desk, but the cool thing is, is that now that my monitor and my speakers are actually mounted on the wall, I can now fold this desk down again without having to worry about all that stuff falling down. Now the desk has held up really, really well. However, it probably could stand to have a pretty deep cleaning, but the desk is nice. It's got lots of space and actually is a pretty nice accent to the rest of the equipment on the desk. So last but not least, I just have a couple little knickknacks on the desk, some stuff like a pencil holder and a lava lamp and some things like that, which accent the desk and really blend everything together. So what do you guys think? My setup certainly has evolved over the past few months ever since I originally created it. I wanna hear from you. What do you guys think of the setup? And if there's anything that I can improve, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But that's all for this video. If you liked it and you wanna see more videos like this, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then I would love to have you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this. But with that being said, my name is Andrew, and thank you for watching.